President Donald Trump took advantage of early voting while in Florida Saturday morning before taking off for a trio of campaign rallies in North Carolina, Ohio and Wisconsin. Trump cast his ballot at the West Palm Beach Library near his private Mar-a-Lago club. The president told reporters after leaving the library it was an honor to be voting and that he cast a very secure vote. I voted for a guy named Trump, he said. White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany said the president used a paper ballot and no one was inside voting at the same time as Trump. The president who changed his official residency from New York to Florida earlier this year cast absentee ballots in the March presidential primary and in the August. 18 primary election. Trump told supporters at a campaign rally on Friday that he liked voting in person. Im old fashioned I guess he said. Trump is staging a campaign rally spree in the final 10-day stretch of the election with six rallies planned over the next three days. The president will travel to Lumberton, North Carolina, Circleville, Ohio and Waukesha, Wisconsin on Saturday to deliver remarks despite warnings from health officials that such mass events are likely to add to the surge in coronavirus cases across the country. Several states set records this week for COVID-19 cases and the U.S. recorded more than 71,000 new cases on Thursday for the first time since the end of July when cases were surging according to Johns Hopkins University data. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen cast their ballots Friday in Indianapolis. They used the absentee ballots they had requested in early September. Hot beverage the latest, see why pundits and pollsters are starting to take a closer look at the U. S. Senate race in Mississippi. Dr. Anthony Fauci the nation's leading infectious disease expert said Friday that Trump has not attended a coronavirus task force meeting in several months and the meetings themselves have greatly diminished. Tear off calendar 10 days until election day 88 days until inauguration day 69 days left in 2020. Ballot box with ballot voting, see USA Today's voter guide for information on registering to vote when your state begins voting and what the candidates think about the issues. We will update this article throughout the day. You can follow all of USA Today's politics reporters on Twitter or subscribe to our daily on politics newsletter. This article originally appeared on USA Today. 2020 election updates. Trump casts a very secure vote for himself in Florida.